Hey everyone, Broadbent here and welcome to my modded Survival Valheim series. In this series, I will be using a wide variety of mods to add new content, quality of life features and more to enhance the survival experience. As the series goes on, new mods will be added and some may be removed to offer the best experience. If you're interested, the mod list is in the description. Now that's all been said, let's start today's episode. Okay, so I want to enter the Bronze Age. I've just slapped this furnace down and I can, in fact, process things in here. So, that is what we're going to do. I, I, I don't know if I'm ready for the boss fight or not. I don't know. I don't really have a good melee weapon other than the flint knife. So, yeah, I might upgrade the bow a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to go with fire arrows because I think overall it has a higher base damage when you combine the pierce and fire. Um, so I'm going to craft a good amount of these, I think, at least. I'm going to use... Yeah, I'm going to craft all. Craft all the feathers. I've got some flint heads as backup. I'm going to work on the base a little bit before I leave as well. I think I'd like, uh, I'd like this area to be done. Okay. That's the start of what I'm thinking. Nice little staircase up to the second floor. I might expand this out a bit more, but... It's a nice little starter. Okay. So, I think I'm about to begin the fight. I've placed a campfire there and a campfire there. Your health regenerates a little bit faster when you're around them, so I'm hoping that that will actually, you know, matter. <laughs> um, I think I need these. And if I do number six, then the boss fight begins. Gotta make sure I get the fire arrows equipped and begin the fight. Now, last time I did this, I was very overprepared. This time... I think I'm about right. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard at all. Although I do say that now. Oh! Hey, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I realized I didn't have the music on for that fight, unfortunately. But it's over. And now I can make the pickaxe. Okay, what do we need to make this? Absolutely nothing. Beautiful. Um, I might even just upgrade that straight away. Can you? You can't. You can't upgrade it. All right, then. Well, sick. All right, let's go get some copper and some tin and make some bronze. I just realized it's time to showcase another mod. So, it's the mod that got added in the beginning. It was added in episode one. However, I didn't really have a good situation to show it off. Um, so this is going to make mining copper nodes so much easier. Honestly, I think you might be jealous if you haven't already done it yourself. Just realized I'm going to need this kiln. I'm not sure if it's going to fit. Hmm. What? You can do that? No way. That's stupid. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Can I even add things to it? I don't think I can. Yes. All right. Wow, the base is like right there. Awesome. Uh, so, normally you can only dig down so far. However, with the mod that I have, you can dig down pretty much indefinitely. Not quite, but close enough. And that will mean that I can very easily undermine this entire copper node. So another really cool mod that is with the Valheim Plus mod is that it, you can change it. So there's no longer a need for roofs over workbenches. If I can get that placement down, that would be lovely around about now. There we go. No roof. I can repair things. Consider it cheating. I don't care. It's not really. I mean, I would, I would still get around it by just building a roof. Nice little quality of life thing, if you ask me. So, I just added another mod. In theory, when I hit this node again... <laughs> wow! Uh, that basically tells me... How much I need to chop out of the terrain. Look at that. That is beautiful. Right. So, in theory, if this was off right now, I would be kind of annoyed because this looks like it should fall. But if I enable the mod, I can clearly see here, for example, places that need to be carved out. Look at that. That is telling me exactly where the problem is. And it's actually with a tree. Are you serious? A tree is holding it up. 
Yep, that's gone green. And then all I have to do is chop this tree and that tree down. Okay, so this entire rock is now critical. Meaning, if I go and hit this with a pickaxe at the top, it should collapse. Hopefully I don't die from this fall. I'm going to try and do it on the edge. I think here looks good. Please work. Please work. Oh! It worked! Oh! Look at all that copper. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. This mod makes the Bronze Age a breeze. I actually think I might enjoy mining copper now. Well, there we have it. I've just picked up all of the resources. Let's go and find out how much we got. So, put that in there. This stuff's the stuff we want. That is quite juicy. And you can tell I got it all because it's an exact number. Beautiful. So good, man. Oh, and a good amount of stone left over, too. All of that from one node. Beautiful. Right, let's get some of this home. I need to look at the the hole that this has left. <laughs> oh, my. Normally, you can't dig that far down, dude. That's so sick. Oh, <gasps> I got my first bit of copper. Let's go. Okay, so now I want to mess around with automation in Valheim. Yes, you heard that right. I want to make a fully automatic smelter. And I need a little bit of space to do it. Um, I'm thinking up here might seem like the right spot for now. So, let's get the hoe out and level the ground. Okay, so I'm booting into the game. So hopefully when I load in, I will see the kiln automatically turn on. We will see. Oh, ho, ho, it's working. Look at that. Whoa. That is very cool. All right. Need more wood now. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I want to rebuild this to be a bit better. That workbench up there is annoying. So, let's demolish that and that. And then rebuild this so what happens if i do that that and that i don't know how it's gonna like organize things but that should work <laughs> that won't work that's funny all right let's put the 11 wood in here that'll automatically go into here and we should see the coal automatically go into here and then here so we'll just follow it a little bit here and see what happens yep I heard it. Yep. <laughs> wow. I love this thing. So, um, I'm going to go and get some extra fact. You know what? Let's put that in there. That will automatically go in. Wow. This is everything I ever wanted in Valheim. Well, not quite, but damn close, dude. Now, in theory. <laughs> That's so good! And now I can just leave this going with wood in it for the longest time, and it'll just process everything fully automatically. I wonder where it's going to put the final product. I'm going to wait around for that. Please be over here. No, it's over here. That's okay. That's okay. I'm happy with that. As long as it's going somewhere, I don't care. <laughs> right. While that automatic farm is going, I'm going to get some more wood. Hell yeah. I just got back to seven copper. <laughs> wow. All right. I'm going to put 50 wood in there. And it should also deposit 25, dude. Whoa. Sick. I'm so confused. What is that? E to enter what? Do I click that? There's nothing here. I'm a little confused how I ended up in my base. <laughs> that wasn't my, my entrance. Alright, I'm curious. Whenever you sleep uh, in Valheim, things process so much quicker. So... I'm going to see how much it produces overnight when it's got a lot of wood ready to go 
and a lot of ore ready to go. Hopefully, hopefully it's a lot. We'll see. God, the storms are so loud. Okay, let's see what we have. Well, this thing's still going. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that's insane. I love this thing. Okay, while all those resources are smelting, I want to work on the base just a little bit. Okay, just want to place a few lights down up here. And that should show you pretty much what I have in mind for the build. At least so far. It's a nice little beginner's base. Especially for the fact that it's completely unraidable from the uh, from the AI. Which is huge. So now I've got three floors. Four floors. We've got this one, this one, a little balcony up here, and then up there. This is becoming quite cozy. I like this. Ah, there we go. I increase my graphic settings to allow more lights. And this place looks so much more cozy already. I'm out of wood. I want to add some lights up here. This is looking nice, man. I love this. There. Just a few more lights here and there. Oh. Got to patch the hole. And then this thing is looking good. I like this. I will have things to add in here as I progress. Obviously, a lot of the lock, uh, the build buildables are locked behind um, discovering things. So, besides that, I think this is pretty good. Hell yeah! Building in a cave. A troll cave. Okay, so let's make the forge, which is a separate station, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, well, for now, just for now, we're going to put it up here. Now we can make a copper knife. A light that I can't pronounce and that seems like it okay so an interesting bug or side effect of having this many mods I've only got like 12 or 8 uh, no but I think about 12 active is that I can exit looking at there's no like range detection for looking at the uh, cave exit I don't know when this happened but it works both ways um, I don't know what mod would be causing it but it's a new change um, and I noticed it last night when, uh, when I could, you know, when I was bringing the copper back. It's not really an issue. It's actually kind of working in my favor. <laughs> All right. Let's make this area safe and get some tin back up to the base. Also, I just added a new mod. So if you look at the mini map at the top right, it tells me the biome, which is normal, I believe. But then it also tells me the weather, which is a little handy. You know, if it's sailing and things like that, I can see that really coming in, in use. Besides, it's only a tiny mod anyway. I figured, why not just add it? Ah, look at that. So there is a range. But it's just massive. Like, it's kind of cool. Anyhow, I'm going to chuck this in here. That should be turning into coal. Yeah, it's going into the left. That's okay, though. And what we can do now is chuck this in here. And that's going. Wonderful. Right, let's go get more. I don't know why I've never thought to do this in the vanilla game before. This isn't anything to do with mods. This is just the way the game is. <laughs> that boy running. Come here. Is this still going or is it slowing down? No, still going. For some reason, the kill just decides to stop. I don't know why. Um, it's something that I've noticed recently. I wonder if it's looking at the wrong chest. No, I don't know why, but the, this just doesn't like to work sometimes. But either way, it's very nice to have. So, I can now make bronze. Let's go and do that. Yeah, here we are. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. So, I can make a lot of new stuff now, including tools. I think tools is going to be my first thing to go to here. I'm going to make the anvils for the forge improvement. I feel like that's quite important as well. Cultivator's huge. That allows me to plant, uh, plant crops and stuff like that, so... All of this stuff I will need to make, so I'm going to finish up smelting the rest of this stuff and turn it into bronze. I'll see you when I've done that. Dude, I think tin smelts way slower than copper. Okay, I did make the bronze axe, so I'm going to go and give that a go right now with pine, I think. N 19? I think that's like doubled my damage to trees. God, that craft all is beautiful. How have I used all the copper already? <laughs> wow. All right, craft all. That should be all of my copper used if I got the ratio correct. 
Yep, just a little bit more tin, but that is a lot of bronze. Uh, so let's get that pickaxe out of the way. Craft that. And that should be most of my tools replaced. I can't make a hoe or anything like that, so um, let's craft all of the excess. Cultivators definitely on the list. I'm going to get that right now, actually. So that is going to round up episode two of my modded Valheim survival series. If you enjoyed this episode with all the automation that happened, I'm very excited about that. And I'm looking forward to how it's going to play out later down the series. Hopefully there's more automation to come because that was bliss. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more, get subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.